Hi friends, today I got these two boxes of dolls from my friend, so let's see what's inside. I bought them from her Instagram store, by the way, and she is another collector, and I am so, so excited because there's a lot of really, really cool stuff in here, from dolls to My Little Ponies to Little's Pet Shops, so stick around. But first, I would like to show you the other random thing that I purchased that I haven't gotten to uh, inaugurate into my collection with a video yet. I bought another American Girl doll. Yes, she came like a week and a half ago, and yes, I was like, hmm, maybe, maybe, maybe I should like wait to show. <laughs> um, so I got this doll for $30 on Mercari, and I had Mercari credit, so she was free. Uh, so that was cool, and I thought that she was super, super cute. I forgot what number she is. Uh, she's one of the Truly Me dolls, and yeah, she was one that's been on my wish list for a while, so when I saw her for $30, I went and grabbed her. And if you're in the US and don't know where Mercari is, by the way, I'll link it in the description. I have a referral code. Check it out. It's excellent. It's better than eBay for finding good deals a lot of the time. And um, for some reason, right now, American Girl dolls are really, really cheap. So if you've been looking for a certain character, I suggest checking Mercari because you can get like basically any doll for like $60 if you look long enough. Anyway, it's time for the boxes. So there's two. It's because I bought so much that we had to split it into two boxes. While we cut into this box, hey everyone, it's me, Xcanadensis. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll and toy related videos multiple times every week, usually every other day. And today we're going to be doing this unboxing. So again, my this is a package of things that I purchased for my friend. I paid for all of this, but I believe she did say that she had put some gifts in here. So uh, we'll see. And this is stuff that I claimed from her Instagram store over the course of... I think several months this time. Um, she basically goes thrifting all the time for her own collection. When she finds things she knows other collectors are looking for, she lists them on her Instagram store through something called a claim sale. And I've gotten so many good deals on like really good stuff that I've been looking for through her store. And we kind of became friends through that. We got to meet when I went to Toy Fair. She was also at Toy Fair in New York earlier this year. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to open this without showing the addresses. <laughs> um, so I'll put it over here. Voila, here we go. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will link her store down below. I highly suggest giving her a follow. Let's get into this box. So, oh my gosh. So a large amount of what's in here is My Little Pony stuff because um, she had a friend who asked her, oh my God, <laughs> my holy grail is sitting right up top actually. <laughs> um, she had a friend who asked her to sell a bunch of like valuable generation one ponies. Um, and which are the ones from the 80s so but we're gonna start with whatever's in here because i think these are dolls and i know a lot of you guys are here for dolls <laughs> um so we've got three little wrapped friends in here so let's start with this one. Oh, hello okay so i think these are actually the things that she's gifting to me um or i did but i don't remember um so this is a bootleg lottie doll no she did show me this doll um this is a bootleg lottie da doll and I, I'll i collect bootlegs if they're interesting to me, and this one is definitely interesting to me because you don't really see bootleg Lottie Da every day, and I don't know, I just thought she was really cute, and I could put her in one of the Lottie Da fashion packs that they did, and I don't know, she can just live with my Lottie Da dolls, and isn't she cute? So, a very, very cute doll. Then, we have this... We have a um, Tyco Ariel doll, and I don't know the Tyco Ariel dolls off the top of my head. I only know a few of their names because I had Whale of a Tail as a kid, and I'll have her again someday. So I think these are the dolls um, that she gifted to me. Um, so that's pretty cool. I don't have any Tyco Ariel dolls on display yet, but it's something that I'm open to because, again, I had one as a kid, um, and she was super, super cute. But um, I'll have to find her at top someday. But I thrift all the time, so I'm just going to have to look up what it looks like and see. I really like her camo tail. Very of, of its time for sure. She's cute. And then um, the Taiko Ariels, by the way, are like 90s. Um, the Little Mermaid dolls, I believe. In here we have one I can display and she has sparkly eyes. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you to my friend because I do believe that these are the gifts that are in the box. Look how sweet this doll is. Her hair is so long. So I don't know if this is her actual outfit. I suspect it isn't, but she's so cute. I know it is a Tyco Ariel dress, but the glittery eyes, I would think she's probably a different doll, but she's so cute. But she definitely needs her hair worked on, so I think that'll be a fun little like short video we can do. And yeah, I love the pink dress. I think it's very, very cute, especially on these older dolls. The way they do it, I think, is adorable. And I love those sparkly eyes. I think every doll should have sparkly eyes, you know? 
I just, why not? There's, there's no reason not to. Oh my gosh. I love them. Thank you so much to my friend. Okay. Let's, because it's right up top, we'll just start here. So after I had already paid for everything, <laughs> she posted this and I was like 30 minutes late. And if you know what this is, you won't believe what I paid. And the fact that this was just sitting on her Instagram page for a while. And I'm so grateful because right before Chinese class, I was just walking to Chinese class and I happened to check and I was like, <laughs> um, or no, it wasn't even Chinese class. Maybe it was my final exam. I don't remember. I just remember I commented claim like actually like 17 times. I was like, mine, 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 please, please, please. And I got her. So this is a Struts horse doll. This is this very weird doll line that was created in response to Bratz. Um, and they're just weird horse things. It feels so surreal to have one of these in my hands. And they have like Bratz foot hoof things. They're a beautiful disaster. I love them so much. And I've been wanting one for so long, but they're so, they're just so obscure. And then the few people that are looking for them are willing to pay a premium for them. So they uh, go for a lot usually. And I've never been able to even like try to bid for one. I think they're made by Playmates. Sorry, that's what I'm looking for is the company make information. I think it is Playmates Toys. Um, but oh my god, she's so cool. Look at her face. So finally, I have a Struts, which is so, so exciting. I've just been kind of hoping someday I find one. It's interesting that she has one leg that you can pose and the other ones you can't. I didn't know that. And the fact that she has an outfit too is amazing. I'm hoping I can find some kind of other shoe that she can wear, but maybe I'm just gonna have to like make resin dupes of these shoes. I have no idea what I'm gonna do about the shoe th situation, but she has two. And that's, that's enough to, like, get a, you know, funny tripod stand. Or if I display her uh, with something in the way of the back feet, I could make it work. Um, but I'm just so, so grateful. And I think I paid, like, $14, $16, something like that. It was under $20. I couldn't believe it. And I am so, so grateful and so excited. This was, this is, like, a holy grail for me to have. Because you guys know I love to collect obscure doll lines and weird doll lines. And what's obscurer and weirder than Brat Horse, but not Brat's Ponies, like, its own beast. I love this. I love this. I'm so, so excited. <laughs> She's amazing. So we're gonna have to clean her up and yay. <laughs> That's my new struts. Okay. I think we're gonna switch gears because next there's a lot of My Little Ponies. So I love My Little Pony. I collect a lot of My Little Ponies and I don't normally add My Little Ponies to my collection unless I find them thrifting and unless they're ones that I don't already have because when people list My Little Ponies for sale online, they're generally going to list, like, maybe five max. It's usually, like, one at a time. And I don't like to buy individual things, generally, unless it's something I'm really, really looking for. Because shipping. So if I buy, like, a $5 pony, yeah, that's a good deal. But then I pay, like, $5 shipping and it stops being a good deal. Um, so to be able to find this many ponies that I needed for my collection in one place was really, really cool. I'm not going to know all their names. Just going to let you know that in advance. Uh, some of these are like European exclusive and stuff too. So like I did not stand a chance. Oh, and I love that they're in cute little Halloween bags with cute, um, why am I forgetting the word for pipe cleaners? Oop, getting tinsel everywhere. Okay. So the first one in here is Quackers. So this is a twinkle eye pony and she needs a lot of work i believe this one too was one that i'm supposed to be really careful if i brush her hair because there's something up with it but look at her so this is a pretty hard pony to get a hold of and i'm excited i actually have like a lot of the twinkle eyed ponies now of course one of the twinkle eyed ponies is like one of the most expensive ponies tw um mimic so unless i happen to find her thrifting i don't know what's going to happen with that but um, I have like a really good collection of Twinkle Eye Ponies so far and I'm very proud of it. So I'm very excited to add Quackers and she's very, very cute. I set her down right here. Oh, I think she might be a bit warped. She won't stand. So we'll just, we'll just set her down there. And then I also got the baby, I think Sweet Celebrations is the name of this one. Um, these were families. I don't have anyone from this family, but now I do. I have this one and he's cute. I don't have a lot of the like baby boy ponies. I think I only have one actually because I have the, yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, But this one's like in a completely different pose. The ones that looked like this, they weren't Clydesdales. And yeah, he's really cute. I like him. And it's so unusual to find, again, ponies that I don't already have, especially in excess like this. So it is so, so exciting. <gasps> And one of my girls is in this little bag as well. Oh my gosh. Open it up. 
there were several pony girls in here so this is moon jumper now or no are you no you're not moon jumper i'm sorry this is a different one i know moon jumper's in here and we will get to her similar color scheme okay i don't know who this is um no it's one of the the dragonfly or firefly oh is your name firefly but anyway this pony is supposed to have big butterfly wings and i pitied her because she does not have her wings and i've never seen one without their wings actually because they're really hard to i mean they're really hard to break honestly and they're really hard to take off so i don't even know how this happened but we can rebuild her i know how to make wings i will make her some really pretty wings that will match her vibe and she's going to be adorable and these other than quackers so far we're, we have a lot of ponies in really nice condition and then we have this um it's not called glow and show this is a generation three line i just don't know what it's called um just the ponies with glitter inside and yeah i think i'm only missing one from this line now so that is pretty pretty cool and she is a mess so she definitely needs some work but she's cute a generation three and with g3 i've actually i i just finished shelving not all of my g3s but most of them and i was going through the list of all of them to see which one i'm missing because i'm not actually missing that many it's weird um it's so it's really really cool like it's really special when i find a generation three pony that i don't already have specifically with g1 certain years i have a lot of them but i'm i'm missing quite a few g1s i just happen to have most of the common ones but like with g3 <laughs> it is hard and g4 too it's really hard to find ones that i don't already have g2 i only have like 10 so basically all of them i need so it's always a treat to find g2s anyway this is a pony that i don't have of course and um, I don't know this one's name or anything, but this is from the line where if you squish them, their, um, their tails are supposed to swish around. She's not doing it, but, um, oh, there we go. Forgot you squeeze the front. Any little tails swish. It's so silly. And yeah, she's cute. She's red, which is unusual. Kind of pink, but I would call her red. I think she's pretty red compared to like all the pink ponies. She's in like perfect condition. She just needs her hair conditioned. And yeah, I think her hair might be cut or maybe just thinning. It's quite short, but or I think they were shorter so that they could accommodate the swishing. But yeah, a, a great pony. Love it. And then we have a baby sea pony that I don't already have. Most of my sea ponies, though, I got a lot of my early G1 collection in a lot together. And they all were owned by, I think, two sisters. So they wrote their specific initials on the bottom of each one. <laughs> So, like, even the baby sea ponies have, like, giant Sharpie marker on the bottom, and it's not ideal. But, anyway, super cute. Missing the forelock, unfortunately, but it's no big deal. I don't, I don't super care about most haircuts on my ponies. This one's pretty bad, but um, I'll usually, like, try to style the hair to disguise it. I don't know. We will see. I'll, I will reroute. I'm not against rerouting, but sometimes if the haircut's cute enough, I'm like, that's your haircut. Like, you look, you look adorable like that. Alrighty. Now... We have this little baggie, which contains, this is Maniac Mayhem, and this, I don't remember what this pony was exclusive to. Was this a Comic-Con exclusive G4? I don't remember. Um, but anyway, this is just a, um, like a G4 exclusive pony for that weird Power Ponies line they did. And yeah, there's also an Equestria Girls of her. Oh, I think the Equestria Girls one is exclusive to Comic-Con, and then this one's just like a Target exclusive or something. I do not remember. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, she is one that I did not already have for my G4 collection. And again, it's kind of hard to find ones that I don't already have. I just found this line a little, I don't know, um, but I'm glad to have her. I think she's my first power pony. I don't think I have any of the other ones. Um, and then this is Sprinkles. Oh, Sprinkles needs help. Um, Sprinkles generally needs help because she came with a water playset. I love her playset. And I did not already have Sprinkles, so a good one to add to my collection she's gonna be a really fun cleanup i think she's gonna clean up really well she's just really dirty like grimy um and i knew that going in so the ponies from this the there's some like rarer ones like from europe and stuff that were from one person and then the other ones were just like extras that um my friend had found okay this is a like top wish list grilly pony uh this is hollywood so this is a Flutter Pony. I think that was released as a special thing during the movie time or something during G1. I don't know. 
her exact origin, but I want to have all the flutter ponies, and there's some really cute ones. I really like, I think they're not even flutter ponies, they just look like flutter ponies, they just don't have this. Um, forgot their name, Dabbles maybe? They're, they have like these geometric kitty marks, they're so so cute, but this was one of the ones I really wanted, and it's a little bit more expensive usually. I think she was a mail order or something, um, but yay! I have her now, and she has really cute sparkly star kitty mark, and she's actually in really really good condition, it's just her hair is pretty dry and I, I can pretty easily fix that so I am super super excited about her and my my flutter pony collection is getting impressive now which is something I'm very excited about because I love the flutter ponies they're so cute and then uh this is just another baby C pony that I didn't already have I don't know their names like I don't know any of their names sorry <laughs> and then this is a baby that I believe this one is a um, European exclusive but I might be wrong I don't remember this pony. Um, I really like her colors. She looks like bubbles and she has a little beach ball. It is entirely possible her name is Beach Ball. That's the thing with My Little Pony. Like sometimes their name is just Beach Ball and sometimes it's something completely different. So you can you can sometimes guess pretty accurately, but other times, no. Okay, in here we have two cute little customs that I bought because they were super cheap. Um, There's another baby sea pony. I just love sea ponies. They're so silly and Oh yeah, this one's rerooted. This one's rerooted with embroidery floss. Man, that fooled me. I was like, why is her hair slightly weird looking? Um, I forgot about that. She's cute. I like her. Um, and then these are the customs, which look way better than I thought they were going to. Um, these are little... Oh no, her eye fell off. Oh no, is it an extra eye? Oh no, yeah, her eye fell off. So these are little baby twinkle-eyed pony customs. Why am I blinking? I don't want to be wrong about their name. So they're Twinkle Eye Baby Customs and they're really cute. It's just that they were painted. Oh, these are made in 2010. That's cool. Um, It seems like they were like airbrushed or something as opposed to just being done on ponies that were already this color. So um, in the picture that I saw, you could like really tell. But honestly, in person, they look really, really good. Um, And they're so cute. I just need to reattach the Twinkle Eye to this one. But adorable. I don't know why they didn't do baby twinkle eye ponies. I mean, the lore for twinkle eyed ponies is quite dark if you haven't heard of it. Yet. Um, the the ponies were working in mines, <laughs> and they they like got diamonds embedded in their eyes, basically. Some it's like something along those lines. So I think it's for the best that there's not baby ones. Um, it must not be a heritable trait. <laughs> Because I think there are babies of some of the characters, I might be wrong, um, that are just regular babies because I don't think it's a heritable trait. It's something that happened to them. Anyway, in here was one I was super excited about too because this is a birth flower pony. So during generation one, this pose was specific to like the original releases. And if you lived in other countries, you would get a lot of uh, random ponies that had this pose. Um, but they did the birth flower ponies. I have two of Lily of the Valley and that's it. Because I found one at a thrift store and I didn't remember which one I had off the top of my head because, like, they all look like this. They just have a different symbol. And I was, like, so excited. I was like, no way I found one. And it was somehow, out of all 12, the one that I already had. Um, so this is one that I don't already have. And I'm super, super excited. She just needs to be cleaned up. You can tell with ponies, like, if you look at them, like, yeah, this pony's super dirty. And, like, her hair is pretty dry. But, like, I can tell this pony's going to fix up beautifully. Because these were just such good quality toys that they fix up really, really nicely. And then in here... We have this one. I forgot your name off the top of my head. But she is another Twinkle Eye Pony and she is super, super cute. Her hair is super, super dry and tangled. But again, like she's going to fix up really, really nicely. And she's adorable. And um, definitely going to start back up. I was doing a series of videos for a minute where I was doing for literally like three days. But I was so proud of myself those three days. <laughs> Um, where I was restoring My Little Ponies, like every day I would do a pony restoration, and I really enjoyed doing it, it was really fun, I need to do it again. Um, it was a short series, but maybe we'll start it again for these ponies. Sorry, I was adjusting the zone. Speaking of birth flower ponies, there's another one that I don't already have, and I will never forget that I have Lily of the Valley now, so I'll never get a double of her by mistake. I believe this is a reroute of, god, is her name like Wind Wave something? I, I believe I have the original for this one, but she's a reroute, and she's cute! She is so, so cute. Which, by the way, if you've ever rerouted a doll, <laughs> it takes forever. It's kind of traumatizing. Ponies, so easy. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not discounting the amount of work it takes, but, like, you could do them, like, in a, like, while you're watching a movie and just, like, finish them up and be done. And it's magical. <laughs> I mean, I want to do more of them. Anyway, another one. I think this is probably um, Daffodils at March. 
um, another one. Now I have three different birth flower ponies and I am so, so excited. Uh, it's so lame, by the way, that G1 just did this. I mean, it's kind of cute. As a collector, I think it's really cute to have the line of like all of them the same like this but the g3 birth flower ponies are so amazing so uh, if you haven't seen those look them up they're so cute i have three of them I'm very proud of that as well i have three g3 and three g1 ones okay i forgot this one's name is it just baby valentine i really wanted this one she is a harder pony to find as well and she is like a perfect addition i have a few of these like rarer babies actually just out of just luck being able to get a hold of them and she's adorable. I just love how simple her symbol is. And although they way overdid just doing a white pony with a monochrome hair color, it works for me every time. Love it. Love it. So, so cute. And then in here, after all these years, this is Megan. This is, if you haven't seen the Generation 1 My Little Pony Media, there's just kind of people. They they live like across the rainbow in some other land. I don't know. I it's just kind of stupid. Um, but there's three characters in the show. Two of them got made into dolls. There's Molly and um, Megan. Megan is the main character. And they made dolls for Molly and Megan. Well, I just said that. But, like, I've been wanting them so bad for so long. And somehow I've never managed to get them. Do they have they have rubber band legs? I didn't know that. that. That was very much a thing in the 80s to do for toys. But, yeah, she has her dress. She has her shoes. She's adorable. I finally have Megan. It's funny because the doll is, like, way younger looking than Megan actually is, but as a doll and My Little Pony collector, I think it's egregious that I did not already have Megan. She's not even rare or anything, really. You can get her for pretty cheap. I just never managed. And then in this bag, we have this. If you've never seen this pony before, look closer. This is a deflocked pony. So basically, this is one of the ones that was soft before, and they just have this, like, flocking powder glued on. And... If the flocking's, like, screwed up, what do you do? Because the pony's going to be destroyed. Well, you take off the flocking. And that's what they did to this one. And it is so much work. It is a nightmare to do it. I have a bunch of ponies that I need to deflock, but I'm, like, scared to do it. And they tend to be, like, super vibrant. This one isn't because she just happened to be white already, so I don't know. Um, but the hair is super, super vibrant against the the fur. Almost said skin. The hair on horses? Like, do y'all call it fur? Is it hair? I don't know. As a My Little Pony fan, but not a horse girl, I don't know all these terms. Um, but anyways, and she's so cute. It's like a totally n d like different pony. It's awesome. Um, but yeah, she was super cheap and it is such a pain to deflog ponies. So I was like, <laughs> I, I should grab her for sure. And then in here we have, get this, another birth flower pony you guys will see birth flower ponies in the wild now when you're thrifting and you'll know what they are and grab them because they're pretty hard to find i don't think they're super expensive or anything um but now i've got four birth flower ponies eat it g3 <laughs> yes love it wish i knew the flowers off the top of my head but i just don't and then this is a world's smallest pony this is firefly except she's not a pegasus for some reason so that's fun and look megan can always remember her time hanging out with the my little ponies with her world's smallest firefly and then we have the sea ponies came with these little inner tubes which is awesome because if you display them you can display them like they'll stand with their inner tube i actually don't know how to do it because i've never had one uh they are so hard to find and this is the one i wanted the most because it's a little alligator friend uh, i don't know if it actually goes to this character i suspect it does because the colors match but who knows and yeah the inner tube. so so cute so you can display them kind of like it also lets them float the intention is not to stand them up the intention is to float them in the bath but If I had more floaties, it'd be awesome. I, I usually just use Kaiser stands to stand them up and it looks really goofy, but it's kind of fun because then they're like floating so it looks like they're in the water. But this was a sea pony that I didn't have and she had a float and she was a good price. Yay! So yeah, and it's an alligator float! Love it, love it. So, so excited. And I am so grateful to get that sort of thing for a good price because it's hard to find that sort of thing for a good price. Because usually when people find the floaties, that's like that's the fine when you get a bunch of g1 ponies it's like yes i got a floaty anyway next we have a generation three that i don't have she is super super dirty but i'm gonna clean her up immediately <laughs> um probably candy apple or something i don't know her name and then this one uh needs a reroute this is too much of a haircut but 
she's one of those sparkly ones and i have two of the sparkly ones plus one baby and now i have this one too yay and these are just cool these were called glow and show no i think glow and show were the ones that had um like different things inside i don't have any of those i don't know but it's one of the see-through glittery ones cool pony which it's it's really cool that they did it again in g3 yeah and then i think this is our last ponies this these are our last ponies and these are extra cool so this pony is one that i really wanted forgot her name <laughs> she's the rainbow baby and she is so cute. I think she's a European one. I don't remember. She is just one that when I saw her, I was like, oh my god, I need to have her. She is amazing. She is everything to me. And I got her. Yay! And a really good price for who she was. Um, this goes to somebody else. This is Hopscotch. Look how perfect she is. This is, oh my god, she's amazing. Do you, are y'all seeing that? You're joking. Okay, um, this is one of the European ponies, and she looks so new. This is one of those ones, sometimes you find G1s in this condition, and you're like, is that a basic fun repro? I don't think they reproed this, and they didn't, of course. Um, but, like, she just looks so pristine, and this is how you can get G1s pretty easily, honestly. Um, well, if if they start off in a certain condition. Like, I know some of these ones in front of me today, I can get like this easily, but then other ones, they'll never get like this. Uh, this pony's like that, too, where, like, just in brand new condition. Which is crazy, because these are from the 80s. Like, some of them might be from, like, 90, 91. But still, like, that's that's a long time for a toy. And they just, they're such good quality. And, yeah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous pony. Hopscotch. Love. Love, love, love. So cute. So, so cute. And I'm, like, 90% sure that's a European one. <laughs> and then... I don't remember this guy. City toy. I think this is a knockoff of something else, but these are very up my alley. Um, can't remember if this was something that I purchased. So maybe this was a gift. I'm like second guessing myself because <laughs> my friend specifically was like, I'm going to put some gifts for you in here that I've been saving for you. So that's probably what this is if I had to guess, but it could just be something that I claimed at a claim sale three months ago and forgot about. Um, but this is a little, I guess like a knockoff, like a little pretty kitty type of toy this is a dog obviously and he comes with a bowl that's cool i just the brand is city toy and i don't know that brand but i love these little freaks the the not my little pony my little ponies love them so weird they're amazing okay <clears throat> then a chair let's check it out my friends i don't even know what brand this chair is Mattel. Oh, is this, um, I think this is Fashion Fever. One of the Fashion Fever furniture things. Um, just a really nice chair for my ponies and their friend. When Megan comes to visit, she gets to sit in this chair. Um, isn't this a nice chair? I, I'm pretty sure it's Fashion Fever. Um, but yeah, just one of those weird, amazing furniture pieces that Barbie released for no reason in, like, early 2000s. So I specifically bought this. Um, it's Sweetie Pop. But to my knowledge, they're this big. They came this big? These were made by Hasbro, I think. Um, and they are just another like attempt at My Little Pony's success. They're just these weird brushable dog things. There were also cats. The cats are better because they make no sense. Like dogs come with hair like this sometimes, like this type of dog does, but cats don't. And the cats are so amazing and they're so goofy. Um, when I bought this, I thought it was the smaller one. So I'm kind of confused, but I'm elated because I did not know about this. They, they made big ones, this is a big dog. This is, like, almost, this obviously not this type of dog, but this is, like, the size of, like, a real dog. Like, a real dog could be this size. A young dog, usually, but... <laughs> what is this toy? Huh. Okay, well, I, I learned something today. We all learned something together today. Or this is just a freakish thing. Also, they're flocked. These are really cool, actually. Like, I really like the Sweetie Kitties and the Sweetie Pups line. 
I think they're really neat. I discovered them because they tend to be like bundled in with G1 stuff. And when I first started collecting, I got some and I think they're awesome. I have a few of them. Uh, now I have this one, which I'm blown away by. What is that? <laughs> um, but I love it. All right. This bag is full of little pet shops. Ah! So I haven't counted in a long time, but I'm pretty sure I have like 600 or more little pet shops. It's a lot. <laughs> so it's really hard to find ones that I don't already have. But if you know anything about Little's Pet Shop, there's like, God, are there like 3,000 plus from the original line? Like, there's a lot of them. So from like in the original, like couple of years of them, I have most of them. But like as it gets later, I don't. So um, anyway, it's always exciting to find Little's Pet Shops that I don't already have. And um, also I got this Care Bear because she was like a dollar. <laughs> and I really like these uh, Care Bear figures. I used to have a bunch when I was a kid, but they just disappeared one day. No idea where they went. This is a little sweatshop cat that I didn't already have. Yay! I love the little cats and they are stupidly expensive online for no reason because people decided it was prestigious to have them. So it's always a pain to get them. So very exciting. And then we have a guinea pig. This, um, I believe, is the turtle from the Around the World set. It might just be from another random set. Um, the Around the World set was something I wanted so badly as a kid and never got. Uh, which su sucks, especially now, because it's really hard to get. Um, this is just a cute bee in like, a really cute red color. I really like this one. Uh, this is a very cute cat that my friend was like, hey, do you want this? And I was like, well, yeah, I love cats. Um, inter is this Mattel? I think this is the same sculpt as Fluff. Uh, we had a whole discussion about this cat, but I don't think we figured out who it was, but I don't remember. Cool. Okay. I am extra perplexed by this cat because it's just Fluff. Could just be a bootleg because it's weirdly um, squishy, like made out of a very flexible fabric, but that's a cool toy. I don't know what that is. Uh, but then a blue... Were these the cockatiels, I think? I don't know, birds, sorry. Uh, here's a deer, a very cute deer. I was really excited about this one. And a polar bear. Almost all the polar bears are this exact color. They just have different eye shapes in them. And then we have a little kitty. I might have accidentally claimed that one. I'm not gonna lie, because I do have this cat. Um, and then this cat I was super excited about. She's so cute. She came with a play set, um, but this was the one that I wanted. Not like, it was like one of those three sets, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what this one came from. And I really wanted her, so I'm really glad that I got her. Then we have a really cute owl from like the second era of that generation uh this guinea pig is one of the originals that i just for some reason don't have and now i do this is one of the original jack russells little doggies we have this kitty who i'm trying i'm not 100 percent sure i'm pretty sure i have this one um i think i didn't think i had her when i bought this one but i'll double check because i might not because there's two cats that look very similar to this and i'm not referring to the race about ranch cat either um, there's two that have this similar face going on. And then we have this gray fluffy kitty. We have this really cute corgi. I really like this one. Like weird purple and pink color scheme with like really cute eyes. I love this one. Uh, and then this little chihuahua. And yeah. New little pet shops. Always a treat. Always exciting. And then this playset. I don't remember what I what playset I got. I remember it being something really cool, so let's find out. Packaged very well because this sort of playset can get like they're made out of a very crumbly plastic, this older stuff. I mean it wasn't crumbly when it came out, but like sun exposure and stuff. Ah, it's a my little pony set. Oh this is the what is this set called? No, I, I remember this. Um, it's like crimping. No. Anyway, I don't think this is the like whole place or anything. The the perm shop. That's right. I want the perm pony so 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 bad. Um, obviously this is this is a fragmentary set. If the rest of it's not in the other box, it might be. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, it's a cool set. And G1 playsets are, like, really hard to find now. I think people just threw them away because they generally are made out of pretty crumbly plastic. So I think that's what usually happens when I'm actually going to not put those on my bed. Um, I'm clean them up first. Um, but it was a good price, so I got it. 
And then I believe that these are presents due to back cards in here. So this, oh cute, it's a calendar. This is a Care Bears 2023 calendar, but it's in the original style. And it says, reminder, take care of yourself because it's Care Bears. And then, yeah, it's just a little calendar. I will be using this because I do not actually have a 2023 calendar yet. Adorable. Yay. Thank you. I love that. It says it includes vouchers inside for what? Um, and then these are some G2 My Little Pony back cards. Which, oh my god, I love the little, like, clip-on wings. It was so genius. And these are in another language. And they have the flair. What country was flair? Because I know that distributor because they distribute other toys that I always am looking for. Um, but see, that it's a hair clip and wings. It's awesome. G2 of My Little Pony. Nobody even recognizes it. Nobody knows what it is unless they're already in Did My Little Pony. Or they happen to grow up with them or something. I love G2. I... I wish that they had gotten more love um, in the U.S. In other countries, super popular. Like, if you live in Europe, you probably know what they are. Those are probably, those are My Little Ponies to you. Um, and then here, I believe these are probably the other pieces to the Perfume Puff Shop, which is great. Um, so I think I have enough to actually put it together. I thought it was, like, the full facade of the playset when I bought it. I think so. Um, all right. Let's see dangerous when your favorite Instagram store owner is also your friend and also has your phone number and can be like, hey, I got this thing. Do you want it? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. This is the overflow because not everything fit in the other box. Um, some of this is gifts for my friend, but there's some things for me in here too. So like these I bought for my friend Queen Beans Collectibles. So this, I guess I'll show you. So there's not a lot of dolls in here, <laughs> but this is one of them. This is Spots and Dots Teresa, and this was a doll, my friend of Queen Bean Collectibles. If you don't know of her, check her out. If you love thrifting content and just doll content in general, she has a great channel. It's very underrated, um, and she's looking for Dalmatian stuff. So when my friend asked me, hey, um, is this a Barbie you'd be interested in? And I was like, Dalmatian. I think my friend would like this. And turns out Queen Bean was looking for this specific doll, so very exciting. And I thought the box wasn't going to be in amazing condition, but this is, like, perfect. So, yay! I hope you love this if you're watching this. Um, and then these are some original Little's Pet Shops, like, original Little's Pet Shops by Kenner. Why does that look like this? Before Hasbro bought Kenner and gained the rights to Little's Pet Shop, that's what they looked like. Um, so I got these for my friend as well, because she really likes older Little's Pet Shops. I love these, too. And I'm, like, open to collecting them, but especially, like, the little cat ones. Like, are you kidding? So cute. Um, but there's some really cute ones in here, so. Um, but she helps me so much with finding all kinds of stuff, especially this era of little pet shops. So I'm happy to do, like, a trade sort of thing. Uh, these are play sets for little pet shops. Those are hers to show off. And then... Oh, I think these might be gifts. A lot of this stuff. What is this? I think this goes to the perfume puff shop as well. And probably this stuff too. I think so. Um, this I don't know what it is. It's like a My Little Pony thing. It's like a cute box. I love a cute box. I think these are gifts. So this extremely cute gut gusty gut gutsy gusty box. I wonder what this was. Maybe like a little Easter basket or something. This is cute. And then we have a little Pinkie Pie bow. Very cute. This is a precure for Mahosukai. Um, little, they make these little like candy toy sets. So this one, I wonder if it has, which character it has in here. I mean, I guess it's probably, Let's see, it's all taped up. I don't know. I really like a Mahosukai. <gasps> She's in there. Oh my goodness. So, I thought so. I think, because I've never had one of these sets before, but usually, like, each set will come with a different piece of the castle, so you have to, like, try to get them all. But look, little baby. I have one piece of Mahosukai merch right now, and it is a cup. So, um, this has doubled my collection, and it will also look adorable on display. And the piece that she comes with also stands alone really nicely. 
Cute. Okay, let me put her back in here before I lose any of these little pieces. Thank you. <laughs> Yay. I do like Precure very much, yes. Don't know what's in here. Are these Squinkies? What is this? Let's see. Let's see scissors. <laughs> They're teensy tiny little pet shops. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera around for this little stuff because I think that would make more sense. But there's G1 stuff. I bought these. There's all these like little do re mi things, like little dress things, which is really cool. And then we have some G3. Oh, what about this? G3 accessories and pony wear, which she offered to me. So I'm grateful. Thank you. And then. We have some little Hatchimals friends, which um, I think I might claim that little snail, maybe. I love a little snail. All right, this is a weird mess right now, but I wanted to show you some of the little stuff up closer, so let us do that. So there's these really cute little do re mi dress things. I love these little things that Japan has been doing. They, There's been a lot of merch that's like the dresses from Magical Girl shows as like little figures, and I think they're so fun. They're just really cute and simple, um, and there's two of them. And then in this little baggie, we have this little, I think this is from McDonald's, yeah, McDonald's toy thing, stickers for Pokemon. And then we have, wow, that is cool. Oh, it's the Birth Flower Pony Offer. And that tells me what all their names are too. So let's see who we got actually. So this is Carnation, which is January. We got Daffodil, which is March, I was right. And then the and then I have Lily of the Valley. Um, and then this is kind of a generic flower. Who are you? Is this the poppy one? No. Wait. Is this violet? I think the drawing is wrong, uh, because that looks slightly different, but I think this is violet, which is February. Cool. So I have January, February, March. Wow. That's actually really cool. And then May, so I have almost a sequence. And then you can see the collector pose bunnies. Did this get cut? Oh, I bet that was the mail order part right there that you would send in. Save your horseshoe points to get premiums. Cute. Love. I love the paper goods like this. When I was a kid, I always kept them too. Like, I just knew. And then we have some stickers. These used to come with the ponies. These are hard, like, really hard to find. They're not super expensive or anything yet, though. Uh, lofty. Maybe certain ones are. This is Megan and Sundance. How cute. I find Sundance all the time, but I don't find Megan all the time. And then Sky Dancer. It's weird that they don't have um, symbols. And these I want to turn into magnets, maybe, because it'll be super fun and the backing paper's kind of screwed up. Um, oh, yeah. I think this one was already used for something, and then they stuck it back on here. Um, but yeah. And then this is a pony wear piece for Sundance, I believe, like a Megan and Sundance said. I think this is called a bridal. Um, this is really, really nice, actually. Okay. And then this is our G3 clothing pieces. Oh my god, I had whatever set this goes to as a kid. I know that phone. I love that little phone. It's cute. Um, funny enough, with my... If you haven't heard the story before, I say it all the time. Little shoes. Um, with G3, I had them as a kid, and I kept them all really nicely, actually, which I'm, like, I'm very grateful for, because I still have them all. But um my mom was like hey we're gonna have a garage sale like let's let's get rid of some stuff and I was feeling like immense pressure for some reason to get rid of some stuff but I didn't want to get rid of any of my toys uh like any of my actual toys and I'm really glad that I didn't but for some reason I was like okay I gotta get rid of some stuff instead of just saying like my mom would have been totally understanding if I was like mm, I don't really want to this year um but I got rid of all of the accessories only the accessories that go to my My Little Ponies if they were not adequately sized for um, little pet shops or if they didn't specifically go to the house play sets and I feel like such an idiot okay so these are oh, these are I don't know if they're little pet shop but they're swirly and colorful enough that I, they could be um but they are the like teeniest tiniest little pet shops which I never really collected as a kid I had one set that I got for my birthday one year uh so this little deer one but I love these I think they're really really cute and then this is a little frog one I actually have quite a few of these now um because God, did I find them thrifting? I don't remember. I have a bunch of them that I got like a few years ago. And then, um, oh, I guess some accessories might be in some of these. So is this, I wonder if these are a little special. They really look like they would be because they look like little hamster balls and stuff. Um, and then this is a little hair clip. 
don't know what that goes to. I doubt it goes to the Lil's Pet Shops. So what is that? Because it's like, none of them could wear it, certainly. In here we have, oh, they can stick in. So these are definitely the Lil's Pet Shop stuff. So look, that's an accessory that they can wear. It's a little hat. That is extremely cute. She's a little deer. Hello, deer. Ah, let's get her out of there. I really, really wanted these teensiest ones as a kid, but my mom was like, uh-uh, you're gonna lose those, which is fair, I probably would've. <laughs> and then we have a ladybug, because let's make a line called Little's Pet Shop where we make really tiny pets, and then we're gonna make it like a sub line. Teeniest ones, like even smaller ones. Oh, little accessories, these are really cute. I believe I had that cheese. And then this would have gone to one of the like little compact sets, and then this is where you would have kept your pets. Um, and it like would have snapped in like this and then this part hung out and you could hang it. I had the hamster set when I was a kid because it was a gift. Hamster? I wonder if the hamster set. I don't, was it? No, it was like a light purple color. Um, and then in here we have, oh my god, a little giraffe one. So, so cute. See, this is a whole world of little patch-ups that I know absolutely nothing about because I just didn't, I don't have experience with them. <gasps> Are you kidding? A little whale! This sculpt is way cuter than the one that Little's Pet Shop actually did for the main ones. It's really cute. Uh, this is an octopus, I think, which is also an extremely cute sculpt. And I love the little surfboard. Very, very cute. Little chair. Kind of a big chair for them. Oh, little hermit crab. And, oh, well, I love the log to sit on. That's very, very cute. And then I just, like, changed this one's whole world view by throwing the thing on accident. A little zebra. Oh my god. It, those are adorable. Yay, look at them. Little babies. I need to figure out how to display these because they, they fall over really easily. But if I had more of these little stand things. I mean, maybe the ones that fall over that can go on the stand things. But otherwise, they can just hang out. Aren't they so cute? They are so, so silly. I need to look up like how many of these there are if it's worth trying to collect them. I mean, I'll just keep buying them when I see them because I think they're really, really cute. I do believe that these were a gift, though. Um, these ones in particular. Look at this weird one. Like, what's the deal with this one? Um, but yeah, if you recognize this stanker, please let us know. I love this. It's, it's fluff. Like, this is fluff. Which, if you don't know who fluff is, please watch my Barbie cat video essay. It, it flopped really bad and I worked really hard on it. <laughs> Um, and yeah, so pretty much a non-doll haul, but I am so, so excited. Getting My Little Ponies and Little Pet Shops is always a huge treat, and um, I always, always find really cool stuff with my friend's shop, so it is always, which is Kita Ray Sales, by the way, um, which it'll be in the description. Um, these are just things that I don't get to add to my collection too often, because again, I have such large collections of them that it's hard. And also with like My Little Pony's Little Pet Shops, resellers know to buy these up when they see them. With dolls, they don't know which dolls necessarily to buy up usually, so I have pretty good luck at their stores with dolls. But with My Little Ponies, I almost never find them. It's so weird. So this is very, very exciting. And with that, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And um, have you bought anything cool lately? I don't know. Let's connect. If you care about My Little Pony's Little Pet Shops, tell me about it or any of this other stuff. We've got some really cool stuff today and I'm so, so excited. Okay, for real this time, thanks so much for watching. Bye. Y'all, I'm a failure. Look, I had it backwards. I had this cat. I did not have this cat. Don't they come together in a set? I don't remember. Um, but yay. And this was the kind of similar one I was thinking of, I'm pretty sure. Um, but cool. Yay! And I guarantee one of my friends is looking for this one, so she'll have a new home. But yes. Now I have to put these new little patch-ups on the shelf, which is not fun. You'd think it's exciting, but it's extremely stressful. Bye. <laughs>